Hi, I'm Julia. Thank you for joining me for my first actual cooking video with my new UBWise um, vlogging kit. Today I'm going to show you something that I've cooked a lot and posted photos of. How to make tacos out of these delicious romaine lettuce. Got a pot going with my cauliflower Spanish rice. So I sauteed up some onions, just like you would with regular rice. Threw in two bags of frozen cauliflower, a can of tomato sauce, and a little bit of, about a tablespoon of tomato paste with ground cumin and grated garlic, as well as um, a little a bit of garlic salt and garlic powder. So this is going here. Over here, I have three pounds of ground turkey with um, onions, and I'm gonna add some to, uh, salt and pepper. I will take out half of this ground beef and save it for later in the ground, turkey I mean, and save it for later in the week when I make some either, sometimes I'll make, I'll put it with some zucchini noodles and make a pasta, or I might do like a stuffed pepper version. But the idea here is I cook it once with a neutral type of flavor, and then throughout the week I can use it for various different dishes. So this is almost done to where I'll take the other half out. And I break it up really good with this handy dandy thing here. You can get one of those on Amazon. Great to break up meat. And then over here in the crock pot, let's see if I can grab this and take you over here. Oh, that might not work. I'll just show you. Over here in my crock pot, I can't see that far, but I have actually going four pieces of chicken, two chicken breasts and two chicken thighs that I will use. I'm actually going to make some enchiladas with cabbage for later in the week. And these little handy crock pot liners are great because they make cleanup just so easy. So now I'm going to take out half of my meat, my ground, uh, ground meat turkey here. I'm going to take half of that out. Later, my, I think I might do the stuffed peppers this week because I, I remember I made the I made uh, that the fake pasta spaghetti last week, so I'm trying to switch it up. So take out about half, and you know, you know how much meat you like for different things, so you can just eyeball it. To break up the rest of this a little bit more because for tacos you like really small, really big chunks. The doggies want to join in the fun. Okay, so we got that, and then I'm gonna grab. Too watery, and with the um, 
with our shell that I have if you don't want it that watery. Let me just turn this down a little because I had it kind of high for brown and meat. Turn that one out. Okay. So let this cook with the with the seasoning in there, and I want to show you my taco shells. So over here I have, let's see if I could do this, I have my romaine lettuce drying out here. I've already pre-washed it, it's all drying out. That's my garbage bag, sometimes I use a bowl, it's just something to throw stuff in while you're cooking. So these are my, my shells. And what I'm going to show you is a new trick I'm trying. So last week I tried, or a couple weeks ago I tried parchment paper. And that was good. I couldn't find individually packed or individual pieces of parchment paper, so I had to take time to cut it up. So I found these at um, Costco, and I decided I'm gonna give them a try. I thought about trying to find like a, you know, the little deli wrappers you get with a sandwich, that kind of thing. But I kind of like this idea better, so we'll see how it works. Let me show you how I'm going to do it. So what I'm going to do for the tacos that we can see here is I'm going to, let's see if, I don't know if you can see that, there you go. I'm going to put each taco, I like to break off the end of the lettuce and put one, break off the end and put one going this way. So this will be, and the larger one on the bottom. So this will be one taco. And the hot dog paper is gonna help to keep that together while you're eating it. You just roll back the, the hot dog paper. So I'm gonna